Good afternoon, grade 11. How are you today? Today, inshallah, we will go over the uh, comprehension, the comprehension part in your student book, page um, 69, page 69. Uh, yesterday, we explained the four different passages regarding the uh, kinds of forms of communication. And today, inshallah, we will go over the uh, text answers. Oh, sorry, the text questions. Question number one. What do the words in bold refer to? What do the words in bold refer to? Here is the answer of question one. They, in paragraph one, refers to researchers. It's, in paragraph B, refers to postcard. It, in paragraph C, refers to balloon. And them in paragraph D refers to contents, contents. Okay. Question two says, what are the four forms of communication in the four articles? Show them the forms of communication in four articles. In the first article, which is paragraph A, the form of communication is gestures, especially between or among the chimpanzees. In paragraph B, the, po the form of communication was postcard. postcard. In, the, uh, in paragraph C, the form of communication is message, message, which was written on a balloon. And in paragraph D, the form of communication was text message, text messages, which uh, basically discusses the women who turned her text messages into a book and published it. Uh, three, how do chimpanzees communicate with each other according to the scientifics or scientists in Borno? How did chimpanzee communicate with each others? This is question three. Chimpanzees or they use signs and signals to communicate. And basically we call this gesture communication, gesture. And how many gestures or how many uh, signs did they use? They use 66 66 signals or 66 signs in order to communicate. Question four, why did the postcard take such a long time to be delivered? Why did the postcard take such a long time to be delivered? We read the story yesterday and we actually summarize the question by the answer by saying that question four, the postcard had been put back in a post box recently and this takes a lot of time to be found to be found question five why did the man in southern england take the balloon that he had found to his neighbors why did he take it to his neighbors because because his Neighbor's daughter was called Laura. His neighbor's daughter was called Laura because this is the same name which he found in written in the balloon itself. Number six. Why do you think that the book of text messages was published? Why did she publish her text messages into a book this artist because this is personal uh, question you can an you can answer it using your own words because i think changing your memory to a book is something interesting do you think so when you change your memory to a book it's something interesting okay the other questions are based on your own ideas and in your own uh, thoughts about the ways of communication especially letters do you still write letters to your friends okay do you think that in the next 100 years we are going to have new ways of communication give your own feedback or your own answers to these two questions Hello, number five what do we have to do is to read this extract part from a novel which newspaper article from exercise 2 has the same content? Type. Hona anna part of a novel. 
and it has uh, similar ideas and thoughts with one of the four articles that we explained together. We need to know which one exactly. Let's read. When I was 10, my grandfather was having his 60th birthday party. It was a lovely summer day, and the party was in the garden. I suddenly had an idea. I untied one of the brightly colored helium-filled balloons, helium-filled balloons, and wrote a message, wrote a message with my name and address on it. What did she do? She untied a balloon, she wrote a message, and this message had her name and address. Then I sent it into the air, where the gentle breeze carried it off, high above the clouds. A few weeks later, the green balloon landed in some thick bushes nearly 200 kilometers away in southern England. Now you know exactly which paragraph or which article we're talking about, right? Let's continue. A man who was working in his garden found it there. He read the message and a puzzled look came across his face. He was astonished. He was um, surprised when he actually read the message. He thought that it must belong to his neighbor's daughters and took it to his neighbor's house. They were shocked to learn that it was from another girl with the same name. So the same story is told in a novel that there is a girl and in her dad's or uh, grandfather's birthday, she uh, wrote a message on a balloon and this message has her name and her address. And what is really interesting is that both girls have the same name of Laura. When the other Laura and I met, we couldn't believe it. We were the same age, height, both had brown hair, cut in exactly the same style. Of course, we became friends and we have been best friends. So this extract from a, no a novel goes back to paragraph C, right? Paragraph C, when this girl Laura did what? wrote her name and message on a balloon. I'm going to take a picture for the answers to your comprehension. Please put, write them in your notebook. And if you have any questions, send me. Thank you so much.